Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a paper magnolia using my template for the Cricut and Silhouette. All the materials and template will be linked below the video. This is a print and cut template and the print is optional, but I thought the print of the ombre print will be perfect for the magnolia. You could just cut white magnolia flowers without the print. Once you have the print only on one side, cut with your Cricut or Silhouette using the print and cut option. Then you'll need to cut the center pieces with yellow paper. Three pieces on each size, and we have three sizes, so we will need a total of nine yellow pieces. Then we'll need an additional six of the white center pieces. I accidentally cut a little more in this video, but you'll just need six of the smallest size in the white. Lastly, a pair of the green and brown leaves. Grab the flower petals and shape using the shaping tool with the print side facing down. This curling tool will be linked below the video. Gently shape each petal and try to have minimal creases when shaping. The magnolia flowers tend to be very clean and although it's curled on the edges, there are no messy edges. So when you're shaping, make sure it's a clean one-time roll on the mat. Then go back to the center pieces and start with the biggest size of the yellow piece. Glue down three of the biggest size, put that down to the side and glue down three of the medium size yellow pieces. Put that to the side and glue the three of the smallest yellow pieces. Then shape the yellow pieces by curling the tips in a circle. Shape each size. Go back to the largest size and glue a little over the center where the fringes are so that you can gather the pieces and slightly glue them together pulling all the fringes up while maintaining the curled edges, keeping the curls out. Then glue the medium size, the same way gluing slightly out of the center. Then glue it to the first big layer and gather it all up while maintaining the curls out. Then repeat, glue the smallest size and glue it to the first two layers and gather up while maintaining the curls out. Then glue the white center pieces in groups of three. Glue the remaining white center pieces in another group of three. Then glue both the white pieces together, trying to crisscross the layers. Then glue to the bottom of the yellow pieces and gather up. The white pieces are not curled out. Poke a hole on the largest magnolia petal piece. Grab a brown floral wire and curl the tip so that the wire could anchor onto the flower. Put that through the largest magnolia petals and glue down the curled tip of the wire onto the flower. Then glue the medium sized magnolia petals working backwards in size. Then glue the smallest and lastly glue the yellow and white center piece into the center. Next we'll be making the branch with the leaves. Cut a thin green floral wire. The template will have a couple shapes of the leaves and make sure you cut one set of green and one set of the brown matching in size and you could grab one green and one brown that pairs up. Crease it in the middle, add some glue, add the stem and sandwich with the green leaf. Before the glue dries, quickly shape the leaves by curling out the sides. I also like making a separate empty branch by floral taping brown onto a stem by itself. Make a few more leaves and floral tape brown onto each stem of the leaf. I also like to make the same magnolia but gather it up tighter to make a bud-like flower. Making a few less bloomed and more bloomed. Floral tape the stems of the flowers and start attaching each flower, bud, single branch, and leaf. You could gather a few leaves on its own to make another branch and add that bundle to the main branch. Mm -hmm. 
These magnolia flowers will look great by itself in a vase or in a bouquet with other paper flowers. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.